Hi, I would like to share with you a bit of scripture from the book of Isaiah, um, chapter 1, starting with verse 1. The word of the Lord that came unto Hosea the son of Beri in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, son of Joash, king of Israel. So the beginning of the word of the Lord by Hosea, and the word, and the Lord said unto um, Hosea, Go take unto you a wife of whoredoms and children of whoredoms. The land has committed great whoredom, departing from the Lord. So he went and took Gomer, the daughter of Diblaim, which conceived and bore him a son. And the Lord said unto him, Call his name Jezreel, for yet a little while, and I will avenge the blood of Jezreel upon the house of Jehu, and will cause to cease the kingdom of the house of Israel. It shall come kind to of pass of that day that I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel. And she conceived again and bore a daughter, and God said unto him, Call her name Lo Ruhama, for I will no more have mercy upon the house of Israel, but I will utterly take them away. But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah, and will save them by the Lord their God, and will not save them by bow, nor by sword, nor by battle, by horse, nor by horsemen. Now when she had leaned Lo Ruhama, she um, conceived and bore a son, and then said God calls it name Lo am I, for you are not my people, and I will not be your God. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, You are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, You are the sons of the living God. Then shall the children of Israel and the children of and then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head, and they shall come up out of the land, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. Now, those scriptures right there are um, basically the beginning of um, what, I, what I'm going to talk about. Um, why did um, God command um, Hosea to marry a prostitute? And th this one is basically. Ba this woman, Gomer, um, daughter of Diblaim, is basically a prostitute, and um, she um, gives herself to other men. And um, even even during her um, marriage to um, to Hosea, and uh, as we find out in the second chapter, uh, I mean, I mean, as as um, Hosea Hosea ha I mean, scolds her, uh, scolds his wife for, um, for, for go going out with other men. And it's like, um, say unto, say you unto your brother, am I, and your to your sister, Rahama, plead with your mother, please her. She is not my wife, and not, neither am I her husband. Let let her put away her whoredoms out of her sight and her adulteries from between her breasts. Lest they strip her naked and set her as in the day that she was born, and make her as a wilderness, and set her like a dry land, and slay her thirst, and I will not have mercy upon her children, and for they be children of whoredoms. For her mother has played a harlot, she that conceived them has done shamefully, for she said, I will go after my lovers, that give me my bread and my water, my wool and my flax, and my noy and my drink. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up your way with thorns, and make a wall that she shall not find her paths, and she shall follow after her lovers, but she shall not overtake them, and then she shall seek them, and but shall not find them, and then she sh shall say, I will go and return to my first husband, for then was it better than with me than now. For she did not know that I gave her corn, and wine, and oil, and multiplied her silver and gold, which, she, which they prepared for Baal. Therefore will I return and take away my corn, and in the time thereof, and my wine in the season thereof, and I will recover my wool and my flax to, given to cover her nakedness. And now I will discover her lewdness in the sight of her lovers, and none shall deliver her out of mine hand. I will also cause all her mirth to cease, her feast days, and her new moons, and her sabbaths, and I will, um, and all her psalm feasts, and I will destroy her vines, frig and her fig trees, where she has said, These are my rewards that my lovers have given me, and I will make them a forest, and the beast of the field shall eat them. And I will visit, her, visit upon her the days of Balaam, where she, 
weren't she burned incense to them, and she ducked herself for ear, her earrings and her jewels, and she went after her lovers and forgot me, says the Lord. Therefore, behold, I will lure her and bring her into the wilderness and speak comfortably unto her, and I will give her her vineyards from thence and the valley acor for a door of hope, and she shall sing there as in the days of her youth, and as in the day when she came out up out of the land of Egypt. And it shall be that at that day, it says the Lord, that you shall call me Ishai, and shall no more call me Baali. For I will take away the names of Balaam out of her mouth, and they shall no more be remembered by their name. And in that day, um, I'll make I'll make covenant for them with the base of the field and with the fowls of heaven and with the creeping things of the ground. I'll break the bow and the sword and the battle of the earth. I'll make them fly down safely and I'll betroth you to me, unto me forever. Yeah, I'll betroth you unto me in righteousness and in judgment and in loving kindness and mercies. I'll even betroth you unto me in faithfulness and you shall know the Lord. It shall come to pass in that day. I'll hear, says the Lord, and I'll hear the heavens and they shall hear the earth and the earth shall hear the corn, the wine, and the oil. And they shall hear the Jezreel, and I will sell her unto me in the earth, and I will have mercy upon her that had not obtained mercy. And I will say unto them which are not my people, You are my people, and they shall say, You are my God. Yeah, the whole po the whole point of um, of of God ha having um, Hosea marry a prostitute was basically to show 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 um, Israel that um, that. They have committed adultery again against them by going after um, false gods and um, and e and even um, th though though they have committed adultery again against them, he, he still loves them. And th this is basically point. This is um, ba basically pointed out in the um, third chapter, which which I'm going to read. Um, and it says, Then said the Lord unto me, Go yet, love a woman beloved of her friend, yet an adulteress, according to the love of the Lord toward the children of Israel, who took to other gods and loved flagons of wine. So I bought her to me for fifteen pieces of silver, for a homer of barley, and for a half homer of barley. And I said unto her, You shall abide with me, abide with me many days, you shall not play the harlot, and shall not be for another man. Show so will it also be for you. For children of Israel shall abide many days without a king, without a prince, and without a sacrifice, and without an image, and without an ephod, and without teraphim. Afterward shall the children of Israel return, and shall seek the Lord their God, and David their king, and shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. Yes. Th this whole thing is ba basically a par parable of um, God, God's love for Israel. I mean, per I mean, and some would interpret that um, Hosea married two two women who are who are basically adulterers. And so this is basically a picture of God's love for both Israel and Judah, the um, two kingdoms uh, that split apart from him and then went went their um, own ways. And w one went straight after idols, and others still still hold all on to the Lord and and um, worshiping idols at the same time. And um, the, this um love that God has for Israel um, is, is a never-ending love. I mean, he, he, wa he wants you to be exclusively for him, and that th that's the kind of love that he has for us as Christians, that he wants us to be exclusively for him, that we, we not turn after, um, or we not turn after idols, I think that things that will turn, turn us away from the Lord, we, we, um, should he give her hearts ex completely to the Lord and for forsake all all outer loves and in our lives? And, I mean the um, idols that we ho hold near and dear to our hearts. I mean we we need to um, ca cast those idols down and crush them. And uh, I mean it, it's like like what what Jesus said. Um, um, in the Gospel of Luke, um, in 
says, says if you if you don't if you don't don't hate your father mother um sisters brothers uh um I mean, sons, daughters, and uh, even your own life, um, you, you cannot be his disciple. I mean, you got his, your love for um, Lord has got to be great, great, greater than that for for mother, father, uh, sisters, brothers, um, sons, daughters, um, wise husbands, um, er, everything you hold hold dear dear in this life. I mean, because um, you're. There, there's no greater love you can experience than that of of God be, being there for you, and um, that He's going always going to be there for for us, um, even when even when the things of the world will pa pass away. Uh, I mean, sorry, I didn't don't have the um, exact exact um, ver verses from Luke um, brought up, and just like, um, but. We need. We need to. Um, we we need to be, have, have our lives be be exclusive for the Lord, because um, He cannot. He He's a jealous God. He cannot tolerate um, rivals to to our hearts. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much all I have to um, share with you in this video. So, have a good day, and may God bless you.